got to have care to have passion. And you hear people say all the time, I don't care. If that's you, you don't have passion. You got to care, okay? You got to care if we win or lose. You got to care if we come in last place. You got to care if I want a championship, I'm going to be pissed off. You got to care if you get divorced. You got to care if you file bankruptcy. You got to care if you don't get the 3.0 GPA you shooting for. You filling your goals. You filling your blanks. You filling your dreams. You filling your goals. And at the end of the day, let me tell you something, champ. You got to care. Because if you don't care, guess what? It ain't going to happen. If you don't care, guess what? You ain't going to grind. If you don't care, guess what? You going to quit when it's getting tough. If you don't care, you gonna throw in the towel. So I'm here to tell you, the first thing we gotta do is get you to care about your future, get you to care about your goals, get you to care about succeeding, get you to care about failing. Let me tell you something. If you go into a jungle, there's two people who care. That lion, that gazelle. That gazelle wants to live another day, and that lion wants to eat so he can live another day. And let me tell you who's gonna win that battle. The one who cares the most. Cause that lion knows if I give all my energy at this gazelle, and if I miss the gazelle, if I don't catch the gazelle, I've exerted all this energy and I don't get to eat, I gotta waste another day to eat, I'm in trouble cause I won't have the same strength tomorrow. I won't have the same focus tomorrow. I won't have the same drive tomorrow. I won't have the same energy tomorrow. So I got to care enough that I see this opportunity, I see that gazelle coming by, I gotta get it. But on the other hand, that gazelle was like, man, if I can elude this lion, I can live another day. If I can elude this lion, I can get home to my family. If I can elude this lion, I can get home to my babies. If I can elude this lion, I can get my family out the projects. If I can elude this lion, we can get off welfare. If I can elude this lion, I can get out of bankruptcy. If I can elude this lion just one more day, maybe I can get off drugs. If I can just elude this lion, even in the jungle, the lion and the gazelle, the one who's going to win, is the one who cares the most. And I don't care where you are in life. I don't even care what your lot is in life. I don't care where your mama is. I don't care what your daddy is. I don't care what they did. I don't care how they are. I don't care your background. I don't care what house you in. I don't care what neighbor you from. I don't care what side of the track that you on. All I'm telling you right now is that until you care, can't get to A. Inside your company, who cares the most? Inside your division, who cares the most? Inside your family, who cares the most? We gotta care, man. And if that lion is hungry enough, and if he care enough, he gonna get that gazelle. But if that gazelle is fast enough and elusive enough, that gazelle gonna get away. When you wake up in the morning, every day, you gotta care. And you gotta live your life like you a lion. You gotta live your life like you are that gazelle. What are you doing with your mind? What are you doing with your mentality? What are you doing with your mindset that's gonna position you to make sure that when this is over, you benefit from this break? I'm stuck in the house. Just like you. Now I'm wearing masks. Just like you. Now I'm wearing gloves. Just like you. I'm checking on my 96 year old grandmother. Just like you. I'm checking on my 80 year old mother. Just like you. I'm making sure my kids are being smart and washing my hands. Just like you. But because I'm home, that mean I don't care anymore. Because I'm home, don't mean my purpose goes away. Because I'm home, I can't talk into a microphone. So I talk into a phone. I talk into a computer. I talk into software. I talk into Facebook. I talk into Instagram. And tonight I'm talking to Twitter. Why? You already know. 
because I can. Now, can I ask you a question? What is it about your future that you need to do to get to where you want to be? And once you understand that, you got to put yourself in a mindset that you want to disappoint you. You don't want to disappoint you. Because if you're okay disappointing you, it's almost impossible to get better. What's that one thing that's holding you back from your next level? And once you understand what that one thing is, now you're halfway there. Now we can figure out, okay, if we can improve this one thing and get 10% better every year, in five years, we won't even recognize your business. We won't recognize your, your life. We won't recognize you. Why? Because you got exponentially better. And that's important to me because a part of my purpose and the reason I'm on this earth to help you get better. You can't afford to stay the same. Wherever you want to be in life. Just got to care enough, man. When that setback comes, so? <laughs> when that hater shows up, so? <laughs> when that rejection shows up, so? When that setback shows up, so? When that doubt shows up, so? When that soreness shows up, so? It don't matter, you gotta want it bad enough. I've had my teeth knocked out. I got screws in my feet. Let me tell you something, it don't matter why, cause I care. When I got inducted into the Hall of Fame for motivational speakers, I was sitting at the table and a young lady came up to me. She says, wow, Walter, you're going into the Hall of Fame. That is so cool. Aren't you excited? I said, yeah, I'm excited. She said, you don't act like it. But you know what I told her? After getting cut out the NBA, you know what I told her? After making minimum in the NBA, you know what I told her? After crying in my wife's arms, after I got cut out the NBA, you know what I told her? For the first time in my life, I expected to be here. For the first time in my life, I shot for the A and I got it. For the first time in my life, I went for the throat and I got it. For the first time in my life, I went to be number one and I got it. For the first time in my life, I wasn't happy with getting a C anymore. For the first time in my life, I made up my mind to be an A student and I expected to be an A student. And guess what? I got the A. I talked to people in Australia and, and London and Cyprus and Africa, all over the world because I just wanted to get the A because I cared enough. For the first time in my life, I didn't talk myself out of it. For the first time in my life, I wasn't happy being average. For the first time in my life, I made up my mind that I'm going to be an A student no matter what. I've been motivating people for 19 years. Now I'm a Hall of Fame speaker, which means I'm good at what I do. But the only reason I'm good at what I do, I, watch this, because I care. <laughs>